Hi, this is Anders Roosevelt from Embedder Artist. Uh, here I have the new uh, and exciting LPC Espresso board uh, that we have designed together with NXP. This is the new LPC uh, 1100 and LPC 1300 board. Um, and the LPC Espresso board is, is comprised of two parts. This is the target part, where you have the CPU and just the crystal and basically all, all the IOS available. And then we have the embedded JTAG part, that is a complete JTAG part. Uh, nice thing about this that is you can cut the wires to the target part and then you have your own uh, little JTAG part. So uh, let me show you here. We have a small adapter board also that you can connect here and either you use the old, uh, slightly, uh, slightly bigger JTAG or you use the new, uh, slightly smaller JTAG connector. Also, we have created a little baseboard also, or actually a rather large baseboard. Uh, we have included a lot of peripherals on this board. For example, an accelerometer, temperature sensor, uh, light sensor, joystick and rotary switches, audio inputs and outputs, and uh, yeah, uh, quite a lot of stuff actually. It's a perfect platform for experiments, and if you want to learn uh, these new exciting parts from NXP. The nice thing with this baseboard is actually that it also is compatible with the embed module. Here you can connect the embed module also. Finally, we have created also a small prototype board if you want to build your own hardware. Then you just add the LPC Expresso on top here. Hello, I'm Derek Morris. I'm from Code Red Technologies and we've been working with NXP to develop the LPC Expresso IDE. Uh, LPC Expresso IDE is a complete development environment for C uh, programmers for the LPC Expresso, sorry, LPC microcontrollers. Um, it's been designed to work with the LPC Expresso baseboard um, and uh, the LPC Link uh, debug probe as introduced by Anders. You can download the IDE directly from the uh, LPC Expresso website. It comes down as a single installation program. Um, you install and start the program up. There's no further config configuration required. If we now take a look at the IDE, on the uh, side here we have the uh, editor window. It's a full syntax coloring source editor. Here we have a list of the projects that, and uh, source files in our, um, in our workspace. So in here you can add new files and uh, navigate around your project. One of the added features that we've um, uh, created for LPC Expresso is the quick start list, which is for um, rapid access to uh, commonly used functions. If we now start a, um, uh, an editing session, so what I can do is I can create a new um, project for a, uh, an LPC 1300. I'm going to make this a Hello World project, so it will um, display Hello World on the screen. <laughs> I type in a project name uh, answer a few questions and I can let it default to all of these press finish and it now creates a project I can now open the project uh, look at the source code that's been generated and you can probably see that it's, there's a hello world I can now uh, build the project, so this is now ready for um, downloading to the, uh, to the baseboard. I now debug the project. This is um, loading the firmware down onto the board. I'm selecting which board to, uh, um, that I'm going to debug. Uh, it's now downloading and um, setting up uh, the debug tables on the target. So I've now um, arrived at the breakpoint on main and running my application. And to run it, I can just uh, run the play button and immediately the hello world appears on the screen. So that's uh, as, um, the basic uh, debugging with the project. If I now break the, uh, uh, the program from running, 
I can look around and start to uh, set additional things. So I can look at the registers that are associated with this um, processor. Um, all of the registers are available in this window. We also have peripherals. Um, so we understand about all of the LPC um, um, devices and their peripherals. So on this list here, we list all of the peripherals, including the GPIOs, the system control, the various timers, etc., on this part. I can then look at the registers, uh, the peripherals, in this window here. So it shows me a list of all the peripheral, the peripheral registers, and any bit fields that we might have in those peripherals. We support read-only parts, uh, read-only registers, uh, write-only registers, and also volatile registers. Volatile being ones where you would, um, you, if you read the data, you would destroy the data. If I scroll down this list, um, you can see uh, highlighted in blue are the write-only registers for the sys control register. We can also display memory. And we have quite a sophisticated memory display. Um, I can tap and I can uh, change the memory, uh, the memory values. Um, I can also change the format of the display uh, to show um, it in uh, different byte orders. Uh, big Endian, Little Endian, I can change the byte size, I can change the display format. Also integrated within the IDE is uh, the links to the NXP website. So by clicking on the part number in the bottom right hand corner of the screen here, I can then open up the data sheet associated with, uh, with the parts that we're developing. Uh, this is all integrated directly into the IDE.